everyone. My name is Sarah Wellner and I'm the Senior Product Manager for the Monitor stage here at GitLab. Today I'm going to do a how-to video on how to use the new multiple HTTP endpoints functionality that's going to be released in 13.6. So prior to 13.6 it was only possible to have one HTTP endpoint which you could enable on a project-by-project -project basis. Now we're allowing you to spin up as many HTTP endpoints per GitLab project that you find necessary for your team. So why this is important and useful to you is that now you can create as many endpoints as you need for the different monitoring tools or different alerting sources you have for your applications that you're using to receive alerts by. You can create one endpoint with a unique set of credentials and auth token per tool. In case one auth token is compromised, this means that you're not taking down all of your alerting. You simply have to reset the single auth token and replace it in that tool. So it makes it easier and increases the guarantee that your team's gonna get those critical alerts. So within the demo project, if I go settings to operations, all of my operation settings, I'm gonna expand the alert section. So in the alert section, I've got a table here for all of my enabled integrations. Under the Add New Integrations heading, I'm going to select HTTP endpoint, and I'm giving it a name. Um, I'm going to name it by uh, the tool that I'm using for application performance monitoring for my tool, so New Relic APM. This means I'm able to easily look at this table and identify the endpoint that New Relic is sending alerts to. I'm going to turn it on. I've got my webhook URL and authorization key here, so I'm going to take those and put those in my New Relic tool also have the ability to test this if I want to, so I can copy a sample payload from New Relic, stick it in here, and GitLab's going to generate an alert with that payload, send it to this new endpoint, and if it works, it show up, should show up in the alerts list. So saving the integration, get a confirmation message that it's saved, and it's now in my alerts list. To edit this, I can just click on um, the edit button here and it's going to open the form below for me to make any changes. So the name or to activate or deactivate it or reset the auth key if that's something I need to do. So that was it, how to use multiple HTTP endpoints. Thanks.